the only place on me hairy is my legs just to clear that up so this outfit is making me think i need to get on the next flight to ibiza i wonder how many times in this vlog i'm gonna mention how hot it is well hello everybody welcome back to the vlog if you could see what you were balancing on right now in order for you to be this height you were on a pot of pseudo cream for my spots not for my nappy rash do not wear a nappy just to let you know and on some elemis facial pads some just boxes and boxes of stuff basically because i need you at a certain height so you can all see me anyway welcome to the vlog how are we all if you're as hot as me right now i feel your pain it's currently 32 degrees in the uk Oh my goodness, I don't want to moan about it because it's lovely, but when you've got things to do, I can feel my Sula sweating from here. It's not okay. By the way, if you don't know what a Sula is and you think I've gone crazy, it's from Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging and it means sweaty upper lip alert. You're going to see me with a lot of that in this video, I really have a feeling. Anyway, I'd love today just to be sat in the garden and sunbathing, but in true Freya form, she's left herself 7,000 jobs to do on the healthiest day of the year. So here we are, I just thought I'd vlog and sweat with you all because why not? I actually need to go to the shops. It is gonna be the second time I've been to the shops since they reopened since Corona pandemic. The first time was a terrible experience just because it was just so quiet to be honest and there was nothing in the shops. Today is more of a necessity because I realize I've got a load of stuff to take back to H&M and to take back to Topshop. So I'm gonna have to take a little bit of a stroll into town. I'm also on the hunt to buy myself an Apple Watch. I did try this last week, had absolutely no luck. So I'm gonna try again today. If I don't get it today, I'm just gonna take it as a sign from God that you do not need the watch and do not buy it. But if I can find it, great stuff. But as you can tell, I've already done my makeup. I was actually gonna do it with you guys, but I just thought it was gonna be one sweaty, like melted mess, which it kind of is, so I'm kind of glad I didn't. But I'm pretty much ready to go, but I've actually just realized that I have forgotten to shave my legs, which is really cute, I know. But usually I just put on jeans if that was the case, but on a day like today, jeans are not an option. A dress or shorts is my only option, so I need to epilate. And I wanna show you guys my new epilator because you need to see it. So here it is, this is the cute little travel case it comes in, it's from Bron, and honestly, I usually get my armpits lasered, obviously we've been in a global pandemic, there has been no clinics open, so this has been a saving grace for me, it's as easy as shaving, but it lasts as long as waxing, doesn't that actually sound like a winner already? So inside is the epilator, now on this one is actually the epilating head, it's also a super flexible head, oh my god, I'm getting a sweaty lip already, it's a super flexible head, which is actually quite rare for an epilator because usually they're quite bulky and hard to use but this one isn't it's really flexible you can use it on your underarms your bikini line i've already done that by the way the only place on me hairy is my legs just to clear that up so like i said this is the epilator but it has different attachments so it's got like a shaver tool as well and also an exfoliating head absolutely love this perfect if you wear fake tan guys it's so needed but like i say it's really easy to use i'm gonna show you it's also got a really grippy handle so there's no worries about dropping it and also you can use it in the shower because you can get it wet. So, I'm gonna start shaving my legs. Now, as far as epilators go, I think this is a pretty good looking one. So like I already said to you, it has got the rubber handle, which is obviously easy grip. It can be used in and out of the shower. Now, I've heard some horror stories about epilating in the past, so I was slightly nervous to use this for the first time. But actually, I was pretty pleasantly surprised. It's nowhere near as painful as people make out. And the fact that it lasts just as long as waxing is such a winner for me. I love how easy shaving is, but it just doesn't last. The fact you can do this as quick as shaving, but it's going to last as long as waxing is just amazing. As you can see, it just easily glides along my skin. And then the flexible head means it just goes with the contours of my body. Like I've already told you, it is perfect for your underarms. It's got different heads on it, so you can use the shaver application. You can also use the exfoliator exfoliating brush i honestly think it's such an amazing device and i really feel like epilating is a game changer right legs all shaved i'm feeling like a dolphin so silky and smooth i'm so hot and sweaty oh my god i hope no fit boys watch this video honestly i'm not selling myself hairy sweaty it's not okay anyway i've got all my stuff do you want to see the big piles actually up here this is an e-bloggers pile this is a depop pile i've got two charity bags over there everywhere's a mess as always but i am actually getting there i spent the last couple of days tidying up but yeah anyway i'm gonna grab my bags here so h&m and top shop one i actually can't believe i'm going to town today but jobs need to get done you know in spain when it's super hot the life still continues just because it's 30 degrees in the uk i can't sit around and do nothing 
so I just got to the car park and I just can't get over how many people are here. I mean, like, look how busy it is. Wow. I feel like everyone's at the beach and only I'm the idiot that's in town shopping. Guys, how good is this? I'm in H&M and I bought some stuff back in April. Oh my God, look how shiny my face is. Let's stay here just for a minute. And um, I didn't like any of it. It's just sat in my wardrobe. And I didn't think I'd be able to take it back, obviously, because I bought it so long ago. Because I was in quarantine when I bought it, they just gave me a full refund on it, which I think is so nice of them. So shout out to H&M for being good people on that. I also can't show you anything whilst I'm in here. Like I can't try anything on because the changing rooms are still shut. So sadly, this isn't gonna be a very good come shopping with me because I can't try anything on whilst I'm here. Absolutely love this dress though, guys. Obviously can't try it on. It's like a linen-y kind of style, $24.99. I'll link everything down below that I show you, but love that. So much nice stuff in here. Loving this white blazer, this denim top here, is super cute. Also a khaki linen shirt and a striped one. There's also a really nice pink dress over there. Can you see it? Like I say, I'll link everything down below so you can go and shop it all. I'm in Topshop now, guys. It's so hot in here. I think the aircon must be broken and there's no music on and it's so quiet. It seems really weird. I feel like all the stock is just like the old stock before coronavirus. Like, there's nothing new. I love the color of this yellow jumper and there's a um, little blue one behind. Oh, I really love this white shirt in Topshop. How nice is that? It would look really nice in winter as well, like underneath a jumper, but that's so crisp. Shopping in 2020. Who ever thought it was gonna come to this? To be honest, look how quiet the store is, guys. In Zara now, same shirt as in Topshop, but for cheaper. Okay, look how lovely everything in here looks. They've actually got new stock. I came last week and there was nothing, but today, there's quite a lot. To be honest, this top isn't really my vibe, but imagine it with like a pair of high-waisted jeans or a pair of high-waisted shorts, like barbecue kind of weather. It's so pretty. Just to let you know, it is $25.99. Guys, other than what I showed you in Zara so far, that's pretty much all that's in here. The rest of the store is practically empty. What I will say is though, the aircon in here is amazing. There was no aircon in Topshop. And also, Topshop wouldn't let me return my online return that I had from like when I was in lockdown. So now I'm stuck with a load of clothes that I don't want and can't return, which is a little bit shit. So yeah, I just thought I'd quickly show you my outfit of the day in my usual selfie mirror in Zara. So I've just got on an oversized t-shirt dress. This is from Nasty Girl, I think. It was so cheap, it was like eight pounds. Then I've just got on my Palm Springs mini backpack. Move a little bit further back. Nike socks and Nike Air Force ones. See what I mean about there being nothing in Zara? I mean... Well, I just went to go get a Starbucks and it shut, which was a bit of a bummer. Um, also, there was nothing in Zara other than the top that I showed you, but I didn't buy it because I didn't really like it that much. Like, it, I liked it, but, like it's not really my style. Anyway, when I was upstairs, the um, a really nice girl came up to me and was like, oh, your hair looks so nice. I don't know how when it's like literally stuck to my head with sweat. But um, I just thought that was really sweet and it made me think like we should genuinely pay strangers more compliments because it makes you feel so much better about yourself. Actually, like makes your day. So yeah, she didn't know who I was. I know who she was, obviously, we were strangers, but yeah. I was gonna say thanks to her, but she's never gonna watch this, so <laughs> there's no point. Um, I would actually go into Primark, but I feel like the queue's gonna be a joke once you get in there. So I'm gonna go to Tesco's, I'm gonna get some water, and then I think I'm actually gonna head to my friends for a barbecue. But I'm in Marks and Spencer's now, because I'm starving hungry. And I wanna show you this. This is its nectarines, the grapes, and raspberries with jelly in it. Look, there's like jelly pieces in it. Do you not think that's really weird? jelly with the fruit very strange guys this is the vegan section in M&S although I'm not vegan I love the food so these are fake beef burgers I had them the other night and I want to tell you about them because they were unreal honestly so good also these they're like the sweet corn fritters I absolutely love this whole section it's so good if you're not too into meat like me but you like stuff that's tasty can you believe I just went to go buy a bottle of Prosecco in Marks and Spencer's and the girl wouldn't serve me because I had no ID on me. Like, I have not been ID'd for about five years. Oh well, guys, I'm back in the car quite clearly. I'm just searching for my hand sanitizer because I bought some snacks from Marks and Spencer's that I want to eat. But I just want to quickly talk to you all about my shopping experience because to be quite honest with you, it was so bad. I don't want to slate the high street completely because I just feel like this could be the death of the high street. Sorry if the fans are blowing really loud. Um, just because, you know, everyone has learned to shop online, even people that didn't used to shop online are now shopping online. But 
that whole shopping experience was terrible. In every shop you go in, you have to hand sanitize your hands, you have to walk certain ways, you have to go in one door, come out the other door. There's no stock in there, you can't try anything on. It's just like, why is anyone even bother going to the shops? You can just order everything online. And I know that sounds so bad. And like I say, I don't want the high street to die, but it's awful and I'm also really annoyed because I just went to Marks and Spencer's and wanted to get a bottle of Prosecco because all my friends are at a barbecue tonight and I feel like I couldn't turn up empty handed and um, the girl wouldn't serve me because I had no ID. I was like, I'm 27 and she was like, sorry no, she was only like my age as well and I was like, are you serious? She was like, no, we won't serve you. So now I've got no drink and I feel really annoyed. Anyway, I did manage to get some watermelon and a raspberry and um, apple cider vinegar shot. Absolutely love these. I think I've spoken about them so many times on my vlog, but they're my favorite things to drink. And apparently they're quite good for you. Anyway, I bought absolutely nothing other than this. Um, didn't buy any clothes at all, because you can't try it on. You just think, what's the point? I tried to get a Starbucks, but even that was still shut. One in Canterbury is actually having a refurb, so I think like most Starbucks are reopened, but that one just isn't. But yeah, overall, I feel like shopping makes me realise, and I don't want to say this in a bad way, guys, but I genuinely thought by like this time everything would just be back to normal. I thought by now like things would be really getting back to normal, but going shopping makes you realise how far things are from normal still, and it's kind of like a weird feeling. I was actually meant to be going to Mykonos in a couple of weeks, but we've changed our flights now and we're going to go next year, so I'm not really going anywhere, but I was going to actually say, you guys, tell me like what you're doing this summer. Are some of you going to still try and get away? Are you going to go away? Have your holidays been cancelled? Like, I'd love to know. I'm really tempted to go to Ibiza for a week, but obviously all the big clubs are going to be shut. But that's fine, because Ibiza's still, like, really beautiful. Um, and just, like, we were just going to go and chill and have a good time. Um, I just don't know what it's going to be like, you know? Anyway, when I get in, I'm going to show you all some outfits that I got online, obviously. You didn't get them in the shops. It's, like, two or three just, like, summery outfits. But, um... Yeah, I really like. I'm probably going to shoot them this weekend. Um, but I'll show you guys on YouTube first. Will you see them? Yeah, you'll see them before everyone else on Instagram will. So I got home and then I got locked out. So I sat in my car for the last hour waiting to get in because I take my keys, like my house keys off of my car keys because they don't fit in my bag. Well, they do, but they just get in the way. And it's all well and good. But when you get home and no one's in, slight bit of a problem. Anyway, you know before I went out, I told you guys I got some boxes from Amazon. Well, these are the boxes that I'm on about. They're these big clear storage boxes, because as you can see, there's crap everywhere that needs to go in them. Um, they are 70 litre ones, and I feel like they're gonna fit a lot in. I'm gonna put all my Depop stuff in them right now, and then I'm also gonna put my e-blogger stuff, just to get it all out of the way, and then I'll find stuff to put I'm in here when like I sell this off on Depop and then give that to e-bloggers I'll be able to fill these and they're just really handy and eventually if at some point in my life I ever move out which feels like it's never gonna happen but hopefully at some point it will um they'll be good to move with a good big box is needed right <laughs> um let's not discuss moving out though guys because it actually makes me kind of sad um this year has kind of messed everyone up, hasn't it, a lot. Um, so my plans have just shriveled away. <laughs> good morning, or should I say good afternoon? It is about 1pm. I have been up though. I have done stuff this morning. I haven't been a complete slob. It's so hot again today. There was a massive storm last night, but it doesn't really seem to have altered the temperature too much. Like I said in yesterday's vlog, not complaining, but I am complaining <laughs> because it's so warm. I'm just trying on the outfits that I was actually meant to try on last night that I said I was going to show you all. Um, so I'll just thought I'd quickly show you all in the mirror. Okay, here is outfit numero uno. So it is a dress. You don't often really see me in dresses, but I saw this one on ASOS actually. And it's just lovely. It's from Pull and Bear because often ASOS do different brand stuff on their site. It's just really floaty and perfect for this weather because it's just like a big tent dress. Um, so it's not too hot. It also looks really nice belted. I have belted it before and I think it looks really cute with boots as well. You could definitely wear this in the winter with like leather leggings or something. It was really affordable as well. I think I've got it in the medium size. Then obviously I've got it on with my YSL bag. This bag has had so much use already. I absolutely love it. It goes with everything. And then my shoes are mango. These are unfortunately sold out, but 
if you can get your hands on them get them because they are so comfy and definitely my favorite like sandal i've bought so far this summer i thought it was really weird with buying summer clothes because i felt i wanted to buy a lot but then i was also really scared that we weren't going to see any of the summer but i feel like we are we know that the restaurants and bars are reopening on the 4th it's been confirmed um so i'm getting all my outfits ready also something I want to show you guys, which I feel like is really cool and very 2020, is my mask. Look, it's personalised. It's from a company called House of LBD. It's where my phone case is from as well. I absolutely hate wearing these masks, but they're essential. So if you have to wear them, why not wear them and make them cute? <laughs> so this outfit is making me think I need to get on the next flight to Ibiza or San tropez or Mykonos because it's just not cutting it for here in the UK. So... Let's start with my shorts. They're the Kiri style ones from Topshop. I have so many pairs of these shorts. For me personally, they're just the perfect fit for my body shape. And they kind of cut a little bit higher on the legs. So I just find them really flattering. As you can see, it just sort of cuts there. Um, and yeah, they're super cheap as well. They're around £20. Then my shirt is from H&M. I believe I have it in a size large. Um, it's just a pinstripe white and blue shirt. Shirts like this are so classic. I often wear these kind of shirts underneath jumpers in the winter as well. Like with a brown jumper over the top. The colour contrast just goes really nicely. Then my hat is from Palms Holt. So Palms Holt is my good friend Tia's brand. Um, she does it with her boyfriend Harry. And honestly, these hats are so good. I have a black one as well. Um, and the quality of them are just amazing. I feel like they just finish off every outfit. Like I love a hat, especially if I'm on holiday in the summer. I feel like it's just such a vibe. And then just to go down to my shoes. My shoes are my Dior Slides. Which I'm not going to lie, I forgot about. Because last summer I bought them and then I just obviously haven't worn them all winter. But I've rediscovered them and I am so in love. Let me try and show you guys them. A look at them. I got them from, because this is a good picture of me right now. I got them from Abista Village and they were such a good find. I think they were about £500. But I wore them to death last summer in Ibiza. And hopefully I'll be wearing them this summer again. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay, next outfit, a very me outfit, if I do say so myself. I love a blazer, I love browns, you all know that. So, I've got the same shorts on, the Kiri shorts. I've then just got a white t-shirt on. This one is from Zara. Um, it was so cheap, I think it was like 5 99 I have so many of these though because I bought one, loved the quality of it and loved how it fits so ended up buying like five more. It also comes in black too which I have a few of those. It might even come in grey as well but I don't have any grey ones. So my blazer was the last thing I bought the day before the shops shut for lockdown so it's the last day the shops were open. I went into H&M and I picked up this blazer. I have it in a size 10 I believe. It's gorgeous honestly. It's such... A lovely blazer and it was really inexpensive as well. I often find that with H&M. I think the quality is really good and I think the prices are really reasonable. My hat is obviously the same as one you've just seen. It's the Palms Holt one. By the way, it's in the colour caramel. I'll link it down below obviously anyway. And then my bag. This bag gets so neglected but it is my Louis Vuitton Alma BB. I never really use it but I thought it goes quite nicely with this little outfit. Then I've just got on my Dior slides again and... I love this outfit. I think I'm actually going to wear this out. I'm meant to be going to a barbecue um, on the common on um, Saturday. So I think I'm probably going to wear this there. So I was actually only going to show you three outfits, but... I thought whilst we're here, why not me just show this one as well. So, this is actually another bag I really neglect, guys. This is my Gucci Dionysus. It's in the small size. Um, so you've got the mini, then you've got this one, and then you've got the medium. I don't know why they ever did that. Why don't they just call this the medium when it is the medium? Anyway... I've got a story about this bag. I think I shared it before, but I saved every penny. I actually slightly went into an overdraft to be able to buy this bag. I bought it from Harrods. I originally bought it in the mini size, came home, decided it was too small, went all the way back to London. And in those days, I didn't go to London half as much as I do now. So it was like a real big deal. And by the time I went back, my receipt was out of date. But Harrods were actually so good about it and allowed me to swap it for this one. And I adored this bag. And you know, I feel like it's one of those things that got totally oversaturized on Instagram. But I feel like it's really classic. So I just don't want to get rid of it. And actually, when I put it on with an outfit, I think it looks really nice. Um, but yeah, there's a little bit of backstory about that bag. So that's my Gucci Dionysus. Then I've got my oversized denim jacket on. This is from Topshop. I would love a Balenciaga one, by the way. Um, but they're just so expensive. They're like a £1,000 for a jacket. 
Um, so this one will do for now. Underneath, I've just got this t-shirt dress on, which is from ASOS. I think it's sold out though, so I'll just try and link something similar down below for you guys. And then for my shoes, I've got on my Converse. They're the platform ones. You've seen these before, um, definitely in black. Um, but yeah, these are the white ones. I got these on ASOS. But they just really make your legs look a lot longer, and I've said it before, but because the platform... Yeah, they just sort of elongate your legs and don't cut them off like regular Converse do. But this outfit is just a really comfy casual one. Obviously, in this weather, like, you wouldn't need the denim jacket. But in normal weather, like, you would usually need the jacket because it gets a little bit cooler. But yeah, I think this is a really cute outfit and a very, like, me outfit. Anyway, guys, I actually have somewhere I need to be today. So I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. By the way, I just want to quickly tell you all, my legs today feel so smooth from epilating them yesterday. Like well impressed but yeah my silky smooth legs and myself are actually gonna wear this outfit right now and gonna go um to where i need to be i'm meeting a couple of friends in the park social distancing um i'm gonna go and enjoy the nice weather and probably eat shit food honestly guys all i've been doing in quarantine is just eating crap and now people are starting to talk about holidays and i'm thinking i literally need to go get a pt and I don't know, I need to do something about this situation. I was doing really well at the beginning of quarantine. You remember I said to you guys, I got really like, I'd lost a bit of weight. I was back in old clothes. Absolutely not right now. Anyway, I need to go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you don't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe guys. And I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.